Hey, welcome there. This tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to register with the Uplo website so you can share your assessments, submit your assessments, and also communicate with other classmates in your group as well, and also in Keystone College. This website also has a networking uh, potentials way outside Keystone College, as there's other group members and organizations who are registering and yet to register with this particular service. So you just need to put this URL, web address, that I've got here in Notepad into the browser. <clears throat> um, type that in there. Book, um, bookmark uplo.com later on when you're signed up as well. It's good to have it in there as your bookmarks. So, first of all, I'm just going to get rid of all this dummy information from a previous sign up. So, you'll be presented with this page. This is your register page. You can also log in using your. Um, you know, Facebook and Twitter accounts and such as well. So if you've got those, just click on those guys straight up and it's much easier to log in. But if you don't have those accounts, well, first of all, I encourage you to get one. Or if you don't, you can sign up using this method here as well. I'm just going to quickly fill in these forms and just show you the normal login uh, registering process. <clears throat> just put in your details about where you live as well. You've already got uh, sometimes your browser auto fill it in from previously putting in your details on another website. That can be helpful sometimes to make it faster. Now this is important. You'll need to choose the Keystone College here. So best way to do it is just to scroll down alphabetically till you hit K. So it's got to get down here. Um, your plow will be soon upgraded and also navigating and using upload is going to get an overhaul. So it'll be a lot easier to kind of do this kind of activities like I'm doing now. They'll be improved in the next release. So now you found Keystone College, you just need to check on that and you need to register. But before you do, you'll notice there's a capture form here and this is just to prevent spammers or robots and things like that. It's just to prove you're a real person. So you just need to click on um, here and type in the number you see in the visual above and in this case it's 7 905. Um, if it's too hard to read, obviously the thing to do is just to hit the reset button here and change the picture. Um, and you can do an audio uh, challenge as well instead of a visual challenge, but you just need to authenticate it in here. And when you're done with that, you can click on the register button and that will basically register you an account with your blow. And now I've clicked on the register button. And basically, that's now registered the account with Uplo. This is just a demo account. When you set up your own, obviously put in your correct personal information. And this is where Moodle, uh, sorry, not Moodle. Um, this is where Google Chrome will actually also assist you by saving the password to the site. That's good. Do that, but also make your own password and, and save it down as well as getting your browser to remember it because relying on your browser you will never remember your password if you're on another computer so that can't really that, that that's not really helpful when you're out and about so I'm gonna for this case select never just in my case so once you've received the email from your blow or if you're signed in using social media um, you have been able to set up your account following the instructions you got in your email and such so once you've logged in, this is the dashboard that you'll see, um, you need to add yourself to uh, the Keystone College group um, to collaborate and network with the Keystone College people. Um, also, um, you've got to find your subgroup as well. So the way you do that, um, basically, if you haven't set it up already, is at the top here you've got groups. So you need to click on that. And you can see here, there's other organizations here. Um, this is Keystone College, so you need to join up with this group. And you've got uh, group files and activities and events here. And these are the group admins here. So these are your trainers. And these are other group members. You can see their profiles here. So these are people in your group, which is Keystone College. But most importantly, um, when you've been enrolled, you may have noticed you've been enrolled to a group with a number. So these groups, uh, these subgroups, the, these are your weekly groups when you've been enrolled in. So you've been assigned a number. So you go to that group and you need to join up and uh, also upload your assessment and project files into these groups as well. 
So for instance, I'm going to go to say group four. So if, you, if your group's not in that first little selection there, you need to click on more groups. Sorry, that was a small glitch. Yeah, you've got groups here, but these are not particularly all the groups, and you, your group may or may not be in this little list here. So you click on View All Subgroups, and you can see all subgroups here. Not down on the, on the sidebar anymore, but um, they're listed over here, and you can navigate down the list as well. So I'm looking for Group 4. So I click on Group 4. Now this is where you need to upload your project files, or your draft and also your final um, for the logo project and also for future projects in the next clusters. So there's also a group activity group discussion here so any questions you have for your trainers or for each other you can uh, use these tools here to um, discuss and communicate. Uh, we've got the group files, that's most importantly here, this is where you will need to basically upload uh, those files that we mentioned before. So <clears throat> there's a button up top here. You need to click join group. So I'm just going to join group now with group four. And you can also um, tag people and make comments here. It's the format's a bit like most social media, um, so Facebook or Twitter. You can communicate using these little message windows here. So Group files is where you want to go to upload those project files. And you can see here there's a folder structure uh, interface here. Um, so basically, when you have finished um, your project to a point that you want to submit it for assessment or, or the draft as well, you need to upload the file here. Click on that button here to upload it. But please, uh, I can't emphasize this enough. Don't just upload uh, individual graphic files uh, like a PNG or a PSD and then a Word document here and there. Um, that's hard for us to assess a mark because there's a lot of um, combined uh, materials you need to put in together into this these projects. So um, you're going to use the folder structure we're going to set out in the program and basically you need to zip and upload the project to uh, files and upload them into Uplo here for assessment. So in another video, I'm going to show you the... Um, way to what the structure's like. So in this particular video I'm just I have a file already prepared which I'm just going to upload now. So most importantly we um, in the projects are not looking for a single file or the um, multi file here. That's basically for you to um, network and upload and use it as your own drive to put your own folders in your own areas. But what we're looking for is the zip file a compressed uh, folder. Um, you can use um, Windows if you're using the um, PC laptop and there's also Mac's got an inbuilt compression feature as well. They'll just zip these files up and uh, you need to choose the file and just upload it. So in this case, um, this is just a test folder here. Um, this is what you would get out of your folder structure. It's called Project 2 Logo Design. Um, for this, I'll zip it up and I'll just uh, pretend it's the draft. So, you know, obviously to highlight that it's the draft, it'd be a good idea to put, you know, the draft after it here. But I've already zipped this up from this folder. So this is a submission file here. We need to select that. Um, this is in the way we should move that. And we need to um, basically open it. So you can see here it's attached now. So access is group IDM group 04. This is where I want to upload the file for, say, assessment. So I'm going to hit the upload button. And you can see here, um, my name's coming up here, and I've uploaded Project 2 Logo Design. So that's how we're going to see when you upload your um, draft and also your file. We're going to see it come up in Uplow, and we're going to be able to um, assess those items as well So by going into that folder. So that's how you um, upload um, your project files into the Yuplu system.